We are now in the last question of the part one exam scheme. This question is about linear inequalities and we have to graph them up. Here I will tell you an easy shortcut method. You don't need to bother any of the long methods, you know. First thing, you must have the equations in the slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus b. These both are in the slope intercept form. That's well and good. Now, instead of the inequality, just think of this for a minute as y equal to 6, y equal x plus 3. Now, if you have a coordinate plane, y is equal to 6 means in the y-axis, this is 6, imagine that's 6, you draw a line over there, isn't it? That's the equation. And what about x plus 3? y is equal to x plus 3, the, uh, the intercept, this plus 3 is the y-intercept, it's somewhere over here, 3. And it's plus x, so it will be a positive slope. It will go up something like this. It's a rough graph. It's not accurate, but that's fine. And now over here, look here. It's less than and greater than. Whenever you have less than and greater than, in inequalities, you have to do dotted lines. So remember, your final answers must have dotted lines. That is fine. Over here, these are dotted lines. That's one more thing. If it was less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to it will be straight lines whereas less than or greater than it will be dotted lines here yeah. now here just see for this equation which was that first one right y is less than can you see that it's less than touch a point over here less than means down if it was greater than you have to do a arrow upside and what about this line y is greater than x plus 3 this is the x plus 3 line isn't it Touch a point, up, up over here. So that is greater than, isn't it? That's it. Now, which is the overlapping region? It's below this line and above this line. So all this is the solution region. So that is the answer. That's it. That's so simple. And now we can see over here the answer. See, what we drew over here is same like this. This is a y equals x, but it's less than. So this is the shaded region and over here above this. Now look here, this is all dotted line. Why? Because it's only less than or greater than. So this is the solution region. You will have four graphs. Just select the correct graph easily looking into the given equations. Now even over here, you know the, let's see the answers. You know the four options, right? Y is greater than or equal to zero. So this is the line above this, everything above. And one more is Y is less than or equal to X minus phi. Minus phi is the intercept draw a line it's below this so touch these wherever they touch near over here so this less than this is greater than so this is the solution region and now why are they straight lines because they are greater than or equal to or less than or equal to same way over here they're all in slope intercept over here so it's very easy y is less than or equal to x plus 10 plus 10 is the intercept that is above can you see this line that is the over here line and y is greater than 6x plus 2 plus 2 is over here that's the intercept look here this line at 2 must be dotted you can easily tell and at 10 it must be a straight line why because it is less than or equal to less than is down this is above just upside so this is the solution region this is how we can easily graph the others as well. Please try the other ones. Now I will look at this one. Y is greater than or equal to X plus 10. Plus 10, this is over here. Greater than, above. And Y is less than or equal to X minus 3. Less than this one, minus 3, down. So this is the solution for the second equation and this is for the first equation. Is there any overlapping region? No, there is no overlapping region over here because the slopes are same. They are parallel lines. They will never touch each other. And there is no intercepting lines. Like it's not overlapping anyway. So there is no solution. There is no solution for this graph. So the answer is, see, you can see it's no solution basically. And over here as well, please do it. And over here also we are getting no solution. You can see the slopes are same. The intercepts are different. And y is less than, okay, here you need to understand, this one you can easily tell it's down, it's up. But what if it's a straight line? 
there is no down and up it's a vertical line then if y is less than you take the left side and y is greater than you take the right side just remember this if it's a flat line like this up is positive it's greater than y is greater than will be up y is less than will be down always down decreasing is left or down increasing is up or right that's the answers over here now the second equation is not in the slope intercept form what you can do is you can write this in the slope intercept take this minus y to the other side it will become y here it will be positive 3x take this 4 to the other side plus 4 now this is the solution over here but you can write it like this y less than 3x plus 4 and this is the equation now you can see here y is greater than or equal to 3x minus 5 this is minus 5 intercept everything above it and it's a straight line whereas this one was y is less than 3x plus 4 this is the 4 intercept less than is down this is the solution region so that's how we tell it now intersection of the graph is this part same way please try the other problems by yourselves okay these are straight lines i'll just do this as well quickly here we have x is greater than minus 1. Minus 1 is over here, greater than its dotted line. And greater than means it's towards the right. And y is less than or equal to minus 3 is down, less than or equal to, and it's a straight line. So all this shaded region is the solution region. That's how we do it. Over here, the intersection of these two graphs are the solution regions. Here as well, it would be straight lines, vertical and horizontal lines. See where they intersect. Since it's only greater than and less than, it's dotted lines over here. Here we have one flat line that is horizontal line and one equation, linear equation. Even this is linear line, but it's just that it doesn't have any x component. So it's just y equals minus 1. And over here, please try these very straightforward problems just like how we have done before now here what you need to do first is write it in slope intercept form it'll be y less than or equal to minus x minus 1 y is greater than or equal to minus 6 plus 3 remember when you have minus 6 the slope lines go downwards sloping downwards when we have positive x it's upwards and if it was less than or greater than dotted lines so basic things of graph. These are basic knowledge of graphing. Just implement it and you can easily figure out which is the solution. Slopes are same, but they are not overlapping because they are going upwards and downwards and the middle region is no solution. And the last problem over here, similarly, you can solve it up. First, write it in the slope intercept form. Here it will be y is greater than plus x plus 4. And over here, y is greater than minus x plus 2 so here when which is the minus x line this one and it should have intercept at 2 yes one more at 4 correct and it's increasing line this is decreasing and over here at 4 it's greater than and over here also it's greater than all about so this is the overlapping region that is the end of all the part one questions i hope you have found all my videos helpful if you have found them beneficial, please do share it with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel. That would mean so much to me. And I would highly encourage all of you to solve more and more problems by yourselves. And if you have any doubts, any queries, please do post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you very, very soon. I wish you all all the best for your exams. Happy learning to all of you.